So on Tuesday night, I finished a column saying how remarkable it was that all the pundits were praising President Trump's speech to Congress. I went to bed. I woke up yesterday, and there was another firestorm. This over, as you know by now, a Washington Post story about Jeff Sessions, which immediately was on cable news like roughly 59 minutes out of every hour. Uh, the details of the story are this. The attorney general had testified at his Senate confirmation hearing in January. Al Franken asked him a question. Do you know of any uh, contacts between Trump associates, campaign people, and the Russians? And what would you do if you found out as attorney general? Uh, Sessions said he did not know of any such comments and even though any such contacts, excuse me, uh, and uh, even though he knew that he had been a surrogate or two, he'd be called that during the campaign. What he didn't disclose, which The Washington Post now discloses, is that he had a couple of contacts himself with the Russian ambassador. One was at the Republican convention, more substantive and serious meeting in his Senate office. Now, by itself, I hasten to add, this may mean nothing. We don't know what they talked about. They probably didn't talk about the campaign. But of course, it came in a sensitive time when the Russians were uh, trying at least to influence the US election, hacking into the DNC and Hillary Clinton uh, email banks. Uh, and so it might have been better had Sessions chosen to ask the question differently. Well, the Democrats just went to DEFCON 1, uh, one after the other. They had news conferences. Chuck Schumer comes out. Uh, sessions to resign. Nancy Pelosi comes out, sessions to resign. But even some Republican lawmakers are saying that at a minimum, uh, the attorney general should recuse himself from the ongoing FBI investigation into this question of contacts between Trump associates and anybody from the Russian side. So that doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. Uh, Sean Spicer came out and said that Sessions have been 100% straight with the committee. Donald Trump was visiting an aircraft carrier, and he briefly told reporters he wasn't aware of the Sessions contacts, but didn't think he should recuse and didn't have any reason to believe and he hadn't uh, spoken publicly. But here's the thing. I've covered every special prosecutor investigation uh, in modern history. That law, of course, has expired, which means the Justice Department would have to affirmatively ask for some kind of special counsel if uh, they were to decide to go that route. And that includes Iran-Contra and, of course, what started out as an investigation of the Clinton's Whitewater land deal and ended up with Monica Lewinsky. If you get to a uh, special prosecutor type investigation, it can go into strange and unexpected directions and therefore can ultimately be damaging. At the same time, it seems like the political pressure on Sessions of the White House is really ratcheting up. You even have some Republicans saying, yeah, he really should at least recuse. He shouldn't be supervising uh, in any way an FBI investigation that might touch on his own conduct. So if they're going to do it, they probably should do it soon. If uh, uh, the president and the attorney general decide that this is partisan witch hunt, uh, as they've already indicated, uh, at least as uh, Sean Spicer has indicated, um, and they're going to stick it out. But then if they end up giving in a few weeks from now, then you've got the worst of both worlds. You let the pressure build and build and build. The story dominates the news, and then you wind up with an independent investigation anyway. Um, again, the underlying matter here may be nothing. And I think it's important for those of us in the press not to jump to conclusions. You also had the New York Times story about Obama administration officials in the final days spreading uh, information and evidence about the Trump associates' contacts with Russia throughout the government to create a record and probably knowing full well that it would leak. Uh, so is it a coincidence that both of those stories, Post and Times, hit 24 hours after uh, Trump's successful speech? I don't know. Uh, a lot of people are questioning the timing. But the idea of this story will just go away when you have uh, such a political uproar over it. And when it is so easy to say, okay, out of an abundance of caution and to avoid any appearance of conflict, I will recuse myself of the investigation. This is going to be in the headlines for days, if not weeks. And both sides need to recognize that.